Hi, I'm Howard. We're here at the Hudson Valley Regional with 2601. This is Sarah, Alex, and Courtney. So guys, tell me a little bit about your robot. All right, so last year we, uh, was the first year that we actually started developing vision on our robot, but we didn't really get to implement it. But this year we were able to build upon our findings from last year and um, further develop it. So one thing we used last year was grip and that inspired us to create our own software for like calibrating and um, calibrating and finding our the values that fit us best. And we tailored it to our team's needs. Uh, for vision processing, we use the Jetson, and this allows us to like faster process our code. Like a lot of teams, they use Limelight or like Raspberry Pis, and we just prefer the Jetson. Um, the Jetson is like a mini computer, and it's really convenient. Uh, we also have two cameras on our robot. One is a vision cam. That's uh, one of them right there. Yeah, it's like the green, green light. And then uh, we have a driver's cam off to the side. And the driver's cam is like a wide angle camera, so like the driver has a full view of the field. And they're finding that helpful as they play? Yeah, it like, cause like when his vision is blocked or like when he's on the other side of the field and he can't really see, like he says it really helps him out. And um, like the green light camera is our targeting camera. So like it like uh, takes image and then it processes each pixel and it, um, filters out like the criteria that meets our requirement like it filters out like all the pixels that meet our criteria for okay. what we're trying to detect and then it goes towards it and it aligns right, what else do you guys have about your robot so this year we had to build an elevator the objective of the elevator was similar to last year's so last year we built an elevator using steel wire and a drum but due to complications and the difficulty of consistency last year we decided to take on the challenge and redesign the elevator so this year we use chain and sprocket which is in the middle and we place the gearbox on the bottom and originally we had convulsion springs attached to both sides of the elevator uh, to reduce the stress on the gearbox but due to um, weight limits and um, complications, we had to remove those springs. And we originally had a design for a three-stage elevator. However, due to the weight constraints, we had to switch it to a one-stage elevator. But with that, we were able to have a more consistent system for the chain and sprockets, and the arms were able to reach the first level of the rocket and the cargo ship consistently. And it hasn't broken yet? It has not. Okay, so one of the aspects of, of, this year's, of this year's game was to climb, so I was part of the, uh, the uh, climbing sub-team, and as you can see on the robot, we had four actuators, which are essentially pistons, which, which move up uh, using, uh, using a, um, a gearbox and motor. So for the housing, for the actuators, we use carbon fiber because it's a very, it's, 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 it's a very strong material, and we powered it by, uh, by a four Neo motors, each, one, each actuator has one. And the front two actuators have free spinning wheels, which which just guides the robot forward, so it can go on the top of the uh, level three uh, hab platform. And the back two actuators have a are attached to a, a, a drop down chassis, which is powered by by another motor, which helps uh, push the robot forward. Are you finding those neo motors very helpful this year? Uh, certainly, these these neo motors are, are lighter are, are lighter than than the ones we used last year. They provide more torque, more they have more power, so they're better. Yeah. All right. Thank you, guys. Good luck. We need your help to keep fun loud, live, and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.